It's Borderlands 2. Nothing remarkable about that. But how about now? Because today I'm going to be showing you the brand new third person mod for Borderlands on the PC. And in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to install it, how to get it running and all sorts of fun that you can have while you are using it. So, let's get learning. Now this uh, third person mod for PC seems to be by, uh, a, a, by a combination of people, uh, a gentleman or lady, I'm not sure, a person called Silos and a person called the Leben Gaffher. Um, if I'm pronouncing your names wrong, I apologise, but thank you so much for your work. Now this mod is a PC only mod, but there is a third person uh, mod available for the Xbox as well, so do have a look, uh, do search around on the internet if you're looking for that, and if anyone has a link, I'm more than happy to put it in the description. But um, we're going to have a look at the PC version. Now you're going to need um, a program called Cheat Engine. Now my first reaction when seeing that I needed a program called Cheat Engine was no way, I'm not touching that, um, I'm not a cheater, etc. etc. Um, but then I had another think about it and I thought, well, I've used cheat programs before, back in the days of um, the N64 when I had my, my action replay and uh, my game genie plugged into my, my N64. And I never used them to cheat, I used them to modify the game, to improve the game um, in some way. And I guess um, with this cheat engine, I think, I think it's perhaps poorly named, but the idea is you can do the same. You can modify the game in any way. Now, some people will modify the game to become super powered, but other people will just modify the game so they can enjoy it a bit more and that's what we're going to do today. So you need to come to cheatengine.org and down uh, click on this huge green sign here um, cheatengine62.exe download that um, and install it. And then you're also going to need a script um, to go with Cheat Engine, which which contains the third person person mod. Now you're going to need to come to the the Cheat Engine forum to get this. And again, I'll I will post the link um, at the bottom. And at the point of me making this video, they are on third person mode 3.2. Um, when you're watching this, this, it may be slightly higher, but either way, I will uh, try and keep the link updated. And you can see what they've updated, all this kind of stuff here. But what you're interested in is the download link here, which you can left click on and then save to uh, wherever you'd like like on your computer. Now when you have that file downloaded you just need to come and find that file and double click it and then that will automatically run Cheat Engine. Um, you will have to allow it to make changes to your computer because it is a memory hacking tool and then Cheat Engine will run and if you look in this bottom box here you can see third person mode uh, the script has been activated. Now a word of warning with Cheat Engine, don't have it running um, while you've got any kind of multiplayer game that uses bands. Um, so I wouldn't have this running, uh, basically that kind of means any kind of competitive multiplayer game. So Call of Duty, Battlefield, um, maybe even like World of Warcraft, you know, that, that kind of thing. Anything where you're likely to get banned for using uh, kind of software like this uh, because some people will use it to, to cheat. So only have it running with games that you know are, are safe uh, like, like like Borderlands. And then what we're going to need to do now is run Borderlands and then alt tab out and come back here. So I'm going to go into uh, Steam and I'm going to run Borderlands and then once that is running as it goes through its many many menu screens um, I will be able to come back to Cheat Engine so just waiting for it to get through the menu here. I'll be able to alt, alt tab back out, come back to Cheat Engine, and now I should be able to scan for the game, which is this button here that's got this kind of green outline on it. So if I click on that, and you, you've got all the things that are kind of running on your PC, um, and, what, and Borderlands for me has always been very, very close to the bottom, and probably because it's the most recent one to run. Um, and so you click on Borderlands 2, and you hit Open. Um, and it'll ask you whether you want to keep the current address code list. Now that's that's the, the this thing here, the third person mode, so yes you do. And now you can see you've got Borderlands 2 at the top, and we've got third person mode here at the bottom. Now the last thing we need to do before we finish here is toggle this active button um, to actually turn this script on. And you can do that with by left-clicking like that, or just by pressing space. 
either way it turns on and once you've done that you can alt tab back into the game and we're ready to get third person okay now once you're in the game before you go third person um, I would make a simple check of your key bindings because um, remember the default button for um, the third person mod is G. Now you can change that to any button you want like I showed you earlier in the tutorial um, but if you, assuming you've left it to G you need to make sure you haven't got anything else set to G in your king bindings and definitely not something dangerous and um, the reason I said this is because I actually had my drop weapon button set to G and uh, as I uh, to went third person I dropped the weapon and it went through the floor and I almost lost it if I hadn't um, have hit all F4 um, so there's another good reason to back up your save game before trying some of these uh, kind of things out but assuming you've got nothing else that is using the G key you can go ahead and go third person just like that and it works like a toggle so you press G once and you go third person press G again and you go back to first person and, and so on so I, I can flick through it now what else is great about this mod is that um, if I'm in third person I can fire and you can see the crosshairs are on the screen there the crosshairs will respond to the different kinds of gun I've got so there's a sniper rifle it's nice and wide there's a shotgun it's very wide and curved um, there's a machine gun it's a lot tighter um, but as soon as I look down the sights bang I'm straight back into the first person view so um, what is lovely about this is I can run around in third person seeing my character seeing around me getting the that extra field of view that it gives me and then when I'm ready to take the shot straight back down the sights and ready to go now it also um, this is version 3 of the more 3.2 I think I'm using here uh, it works very nicely now when I uh, actually put an object behind me like say this pillar here you see that the camera is actually you know a couple of inches behind where my character is but it's done, been done well so when I actually have an object behind me the camera is gonna move so it's more on top of my character to still allow me a, a first person view and of course it will still come in nicely to the to the shooting as as well so that element of it works really really well now one thing I have found slightly harder is seeing which weapon I'm using you've you've really got to use the uh, the the information on the right hand side that pops up when you change weapon to work out which gun it is because you although if you twirl the gun and you can see it a little bit um, in the midst of a battle you're not you're not going to be wanting to quickly look down and go oh is that the shotgun or is that the uh, is that the pistol so you've got to be able to quickly uh, recognize which gun you've got before you start firing and what is nice to see though is the gun that you've just finished using it um, moves straight to the to, the, to your back um, and, you, and you can see that now now the other issue that well it's not an issue the, the, the other kind of feature you need to kind of be aware of um, if I just take care of these guys here is it's it's whoa where did you go where did you go oh, that's not very nice is it um, is that you need to be able to? It's 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 harder to pick up weapons from um, from the floor because they appear further away in first person. Uh, so I just yes, thank you. Please die. You've all, you're also slightly above where you were before. Um, if as while I'm dealing with these guys, I'll show you. Um, I'm using one of these kind of like uh, reload and it, it flings it weapons. Now it actually comes out higher than it would before. So if I aim at him and then fling the weapon. It, it does go slightly above where I would expect. Now, this is what I was talking about. Now, if I'm now um, in third person, it's actually quite hard for me to see what that weapon is. Um, and that's a very, very small image there, and I've got to kind of aim kind of weirdly at it. Now, I can just go straight back into the look down the sights and see what it is, and I can pick it up from there, so that works nicely. But of course, remember the, the G key or the toggle key is still there, so you know, if you, if you get into a situation like this, uh, where you can't quite see it, just just flip back to first person and 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 pick it up um, normally um, if you want to. Now this mod even works fine with vehicles because you would think if you were in third person like this, when you get into a vehicle, uh, it wouldn't quite uh, give you a correct view. But this view, this mod even compensates um, for that. Um, you know, I, I didn't I didn't remove the mod there. I just climbed in and I'm able to activate it absolutely fine and when I get out of the the car um, I am still in third person so it has remembered my setting absolutely um, fine now one issue slight issue I have got with the gunzerk I don't know how, I don't know how much this will affect other characters is that when I gunzerk and use um, my the offhand gun it it zooms me in like that 
This is when I'm firing. It's it's probably going to give you some sort of epileptic fit in a second through all the flashing that's going on. The the my left hand gun is fine, uh, but my right hand gun is is, is triggering it in, uh, which is probably something to do with the fact that it's compens it, it normally compensates for the aiming down the sights anyway. Um, so I don't know if that's something that's fixable by the modders, but it's not the end of the world to be honest. And if, if I would rather have a a working mod with a few uh, flaws than 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 something that that isn't functional. Uh, but it is something to be aware of. So vehicle's fine, gun zerker, uh, everything except that right hand gun is going to be fine. But overall, the, the makers of this mod have done such a good job. Um, I hope you found this um, video interesting and useful. Um, if you've got any comments about it or questions about it, you can put them in the comment section or go on to the, the forums, uh, the Cheat Engine forums, and, and ask or give feedback there. Um, Please give the video a like if you have found it entertaining or useful, and subscribe if you would like to see what else is coming up from the Adipose. Um, I've also done a load of uh, videos looking at various graphics mods that you can get um, for um, Borderlands 2 on the PC, so it would be great if you checked out those videos as well. Take care, and I'll see you soon.